All right, friends, it's the Mom Boss Mentor. My name is Kate Moore. And today I want to talk about team belief and buy in. Okay, so it's one thing to grow your team strategically, and hopefully you caught that episode. But today I want to talk about how do you get them to have belief and buy in. And it really does start from the moment they sign up. Okay, so if they sign up, your job is just getting started. Okay, don't think they signed up perfect. I can just leave them in the wind and they're going to do their own thing. No, it's like trying to get a kid to ride a bicycle. They need to practice. They need to be shown how to do it. They need encouragement and they're going to need support along the way, right? Otherwise, they're going to fall down. They're going to give up and they're going to say, I'm never riding a bike again until the next opportunity comes along and they sign up and try that one. But until they get the right support and connection, guess what? It's like falling over and over and over again. And then they start to think it's them and it's not them. It's just that we never supported them fully. Okay. So it's something I'm super passionate about because it breaks my heart when people say, oh yeah, I tried that and it didn't work. But when we have a conversation, it turns out they never even gave it a shot. Or maybe they did, but they got stuck along the way and they lost confidence in themselves. So team culture and team systems to launch and support new consultants is super, super important. And it starts with the sponsor, but it also carries up to the upline to make sure people don't fall through the cracks. Because unfortunately, some leaders come and go. Some leaders kind of let life get in the way of leading. And that's not their fault. It's a name of reality, right? Everyone does it. But we don't want people to lose their traction or momentum in the process just because somebody needed to take a season off or maybe we're struggling with their own belief. Okay. And this is really something that my new team kind of struggled with at the beginning because we grew so fast that we had a few people fall through the cracks. We could not duplicate our onboarding system as fast as possible. And as a result, there were some people who never launched and because they never launched, they never got started. And because they never got started, they never had success. And then the longer it took them to start, doubt creeps in, fear creeps in, or they just have that apathy and say, well, it wasn't for me. But they never knew that it wasn't for them because they never gave it a shot. And so team belief and buy-in is really, really important. And it starts with you as the upline. And then it starts with the person who is sponsoring. Do they believe in the company? Do they believe in your systems? Do they buy into your systems? And then it is with the new recruit and do they believe and buy in? And so that reaffirmation, that connection and making it about the new consultant is really where you're going to get that belief and buy in to blossom. Okay, so let's think about this for a second. Say my friend Jane joins my team. Jane has tried network marketing in the past. She has, um, you know, doubts, fears. She's like, this isn't going to work. It's never worked. But yeah, you know what? I'll give it a shot, right? That is going to be a really hard attitude to crack because she is not coachable. She- excuse me, she's already doubting herself, right? And instead, I want to have that conversation with Jane. Okay, Jane, before you sign up, I would love to know, what is your goal? Like, what would make this worth your while to earn? How much income would you need to earn to make this worth your time? Okay, so Jane's going to tell me a number. Oh, that sounds like a really good number. This happened the other day. She said $1,200. $1,200. It's like, okay, that's a very specific number. What is that for? And she goes, my mortgage. Okay. I love it. Now we're getting somewhere. Right. And so now I can say, okay, so if you want to pay your mortgage every month from your side gig, how much time are you willing to do to pay that mortgage? How much time are you willing to work each week to pay that mortgage payment from your side gig? I could give like three hours a week. Okay. Three hours. That's doable. Now we have what she wants the reward, not having to pay her mortgage out of her her regular full-time job. We have how much time she's willing to give a week. So how many months is she willing to commit to building her business? Because it is not going to happen overnight. And this is the tricky part because people think, oh, it's a get rich scheme and it's super, super easy. And all I have to do is like make one post and people are magically going to buy all the things. No. It's like opening up a donut store, having the best donuts in the entire world, 
and then not having a sign saying that you're open. That is like, that's opening a business and not launching a business, right? How do you think that that donut store is going to do if no one walks through that door? Zero dollars in sales, right? If no one goes to your website, zero dollars in sales. So you need to launch it. You need to open it up with fanfare and momentum and excitement and energy. And that's where we're going to get the belief and the buy-in is our processes work, our systems are seamless. And guess what? We're going to get you a win ASAP within your first week is the goal within 48 hours is even better. And then we're going to get you your first rank or your first, you know, incentive that you can earn a win. And then we're going to get you to that core rank we talked about in the previous call. Again, another win, right? We want to keep those wins coming. We want to keep seeing that momentum build, but we also want them to then be celebrated you know, publicly or on the team page, if they're not comfortable with public recognition. Um, and then guess what? They're like, yeah, it works. Oh my gosh, this, this is working. That's how you're going to build belief. That's how you're going to build buy-in by building that momentum. So if your momentum right now is like deader than a fish, okay, uh, sitting on the dock, right? You need to pick up the pace by getting people wins helping people have success on your team, building that momentum. And if there is no buy-in, you need to go out and get new people. You need to go in and create that momentum by growing from the beginning. Okay. So rebuild, right? Rebuild is a part of this business at any point in time. Almost every direct seller that has a massive team, it did not happen overnight. It did not happen with those struggles and it did not happen without having to rebuild. Okay, so team belief and buy-in, you can pivot. We stopped. Recently, we just stopped. We just stopped everything and we just said, enough is enough. Let's talk. What is it is that is working? What is not working? And what do we need to do that is different? And it's okay to say, this is no longer working or this is what the trend is now, or this is what people are needing now and pivoting. But it's also really good to stop and say to your team, hey, how can I support you? How, how are your dreams changed? How can we get you those dreams to be achieved? And working and meeting people effort for effort. I'm not talking pouring into people that are not even appreciating or leaning in, because guess what? There's a lot of people like that right now, and they will take all your time and all your energy. And all of a sudden you find yourself breaking down because you're so tired and exhausted because you're like literally trying to resuscitate something that is broken. So I want to challenge you. If you feel like you're spending all your energy trying to resuscitate things that are not wanting to be resuscitated, it's time to rebuild. And if you've got a lot of people hungry for change and momentum and, and results and are willing to roll up their sleeves and get to work, guess what? You are in momentum. All right, so it's time to embrace them, celebrate them, get that buy-in, work with your systems, get those wins and create that wheel, okay? We're gonna get that wheel moving super, super fast. The more wins, the more buy-in, the more people running with you. So hopefully this was helpful for you. If you wanna discuss it more, go ahead and email me at hello at I am Kate Moyer. That's M-O-I-R dot com. Or you can join our free Facebook community at The Mom Boss Mentor. Um, and I would love to connect with you through social media as well. So have an amazing day. Cannot wait to hear your wins as you build that belief and buy-in by digging down and getting laser focused and building that momentum. Have a great day.